Hey guys, this is Alan over at Sonic Electronics. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust your gain on your amplifier using an oscilloscope. So we already have the oscilloscope connected here. Uh, we have the uh, leads um, off the oscilloscope clamped onto the output of the amplifier. We are playing a 40 hertz test tone. So basically all I'm going to do is start creeping up this gain on this amplifier. Um, as you can see, the gain is all the way down currently. The radio is already turned up three quarters of the way. You see we have a nice smooth sound uh, sine wave. And um, I'm going to go ahead and start turning up the uh, gain on the amplifier. And so you can see what happens on the screen here. So as we creep up the amplifier gain, you can still see that we have a nice smooth sine wave. Um, as you keep going up, you'll start to see right there at that point, we have a little bit of a square off at the top and the bottom of the sine wave there. As you keep going up, it gets worse, it gets worse, and that's really bad distortion, and that's what makes systems not sound good, and you, that's where you blow speakers and woofers, etc. So not only would you want to do this for your sub amplifier, you'd want to do this for your mids and highs as well. So what we're going to go ahead and do is back this down, and right there, we've got a nice, smooth, clean sine wave, and uh, we have no distortion there. There's many, many other things you can do to really, really tweak this thing and get it even um, tweaked in further than what we're just showing you here but just to kind of give you an idea of what that distortion looks like um, check out our other videos uh, we also did another video on how to use a DD1 and do this as well as well as um, tuning um, this by ear so doing the same exact thing by ear so check out our other videos Alan at Sonic Electronics